This video is about why plant-based processed food is the worst. It's also dedicated to my daughter in the hope that one day she will understand why all the good food has gone. Typically, those who transition to a vegetarian or vegan lifestyle are genuinely compassionate individuals, motivated by concerns for the planet's health, animal welfare, or their own well-being. As a vegetarian who successfully managed my own stage 4 pancreatic cancer diagnosis with the help of a macrobiotic vegan diet, it might come as a surprise that I approve of the reasons behind Martin Freeman's recent decision to end his 38-year vegetarian journey. And given that he gave up being vegetarian for health reasons, that should be even more surprising that I agree, given that the 2022 UK Biobank study established that vegetarians had a lower risk of cancer overall. However, a study that looked at people that followed a vegan diet revealed that most plant-based folk resort to processed foods for protein, when actually what we know about being plant-based is what's good is the whole food. In 2018, the UK, where I live, developed more vegan products than any other country on earth. And I have to admit, they taste great. So what's not to like? Well, of course, there's the trans fats, the high level of salt and the lack of potassium, but they are made of vegetables. How can these two things be true? A, that the Million Veteran study from 2023 revealed that processed foods and plant-based diet pose a greater risk of cardiovascular disease compared to those in meat eaters' diets. And B, people like my friend Robin used a plant-based diet to reverse heart disease. It's crucial to explore the reasons behind the unhealthiness of vegan processed food. I mean, I ate a lot of this. Was this a reason why I got cancer? I was so worried about it, I even told my sister to stop her vegan processed food diet because I was worried she was going to get sick. I think the reason plant-based processed food is so much worse is because it's plant-based protein. Converting wheat or soya into plant protein and oil is challenging. While traditional methods yield about 100 tonnes, using solvents and high heat can boost production to 500 to 1,000 tonnes. The solvent that's used is called hexane and it's also a neurotoxin. Exposure to hexane can cause nerve damage, organ damage, skin irritation. It's toxic to your reproductive system. It's an endocrine disruptor. It can cause colour vision disorder and it has a possible role in Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. And it's very expensive, so they do try and get it all back to recycle it. But in every tonne, the industry estimates there's about 1.5 to 2 litres of hexane as a trace amount. Hexane exposure via the air for workers as part of their job is tightly regulated. However, in food, the laws are patchy and inconsistent, supposedly on the basis that ingesting trace amounts is generally regarded as safe. But there's little research on the dangers of ingestion. And what there is suggests that the real toxicity might be underestimated. What truly alarms me is the potential cumulative exposure to hexane in processed plant-based foods. While the presence of hexane in each product might be limited, consuming processed foods regularly could result in a significantly higher intake over time, a kind of straw that broke the camel's back scenario. The lack of an established safe total daily intake is concerning and I fully support the call for an urgent review by the researchers of Avignon and Turing universities, especially given the disproportionate impact on plant-based eaters. They are, and I was, trusting these foods for plant-based protein, believing in that choice as a benefit for the planet and animals. I was feeding them to my family Discovering that invariably tainted with hexane is a betrayal of trust and it's made me angry. Why don't people know about this? Why aren't the vegan and vegetarian societies doing something about this to protect plant-based eaters? It feels like they're turning a blind eye while happily accepting payments to endorse foods made with hexane. Their logo, symbols of trust, are slapped on products that aren't healthy and I believe are downright dangerous. Instead of profiting, they should be fighting to change laws and make a real difference. Why aren't they? I challenge them to do better. Making this video was a wake-up call. Although I didn't have any processed food, I've gone through my cupboards very carefully, switching out any refined oil to cold-pressed organic extra virgin and also hexane-free medicinal oils. If you're looking for hexane free, you can always trust the organic logos. And if you'd like to follow my crazy journey against pancreatic cancer, please subscribe to She Dares Live.